Hello everyone, welcome to truth. If you think that you are better than others, then you have cancer. Unfortunately, it spreads very quick and many join you. By cross is democracy and heals cancer. Be humble. God created the world in different countries with different culture. God killed them. God let us learn from each other to cooperate with each other. God loves his creation and the corporation. Each person believes God and Jesus on their way. Their belief to God and Jesus depends on their culture, which God loves it. Then do not show disrespect to others. Forbid not what God has given you. Sometimes you cannot eat everything for your health and you cannot forbid for everybody. Only accept and respect what is valid for you. But forbid hard people who make life for their country hard. Other leaders in the world must correct those hard people. Ask God and Jesus for mercies and effective words to correct those hard people. If two persons persons come in conflict and don't forgive each other, you step into the un they step into the unforgiveness place. Jesus wills that you forgive each other. If one of them continues to be more harmful, then take distance, but forgive. If God tells you forgive, then you must do otherwise you, it, you commit sin. Think on two persons who have borrowed $50 and the other $500 from someone. Those persons hasn't, hadn't enough money to pay back. That person forgives them and frees them from their debt. Which one becomes more thankful? Of course, that person who had more debt. The same is in the God's kingdom. Those forgiven persons who has committed more sin are more grateful. When you forgive those who commit sins against you, then God forgive you too. Jesus forgave people over the cross when you wear the cross then you must forgive people who commit sins against you which make you free and live in peace I is soul's window when you look in a person's eye you can see if he or she is happy unhappy faithful or helpless Sometimes God give us duty and to invite people to Jesus and God's kingdom. They smashes you and send you away. God and Jesus send you many times to that person with the same result. One day when you do good thing, those people appear to destroy your day. But they became calm. In the end, you give them a good duty. They did and gave the gifts. Satan appeared and showed you a way to go with all the gifts, but your belief and faith to the God and Jesus led you to share the gifts with poor. Miracles is a holy action that happens in us. 
all the miracles in Bible on Jesus holy actions on people's body when we accept Jesus in our life we gives he gives us an overnatural feeling and a good life he makes you complete only try to go through your day and be thankful your blessing and talk about them with your family follow Jesus and trust Jesus start your day with Jesus lying in his arm he makes your day successful of course you can meet people who have trouble but your kindness protects you whatever God does in your life share with your family sometimes your family doesn't know that you are Christ and if you tell they can be hard to you sometimes you your family are educated people and when you talk about God they can make an argument that you cannot defend but talk about God because you put God in their mind and their heart have good connection with your friends and ask them to pray for you as like as you pray for them sometimes miracles happen in the life dying people turn to life because of prayers they may be very harmful but God gives them another opportunity to live a good and blessed life. The hard heart is replaced with a soft heart. You must work on your intelligence which is given by God. Only be clever and work on it to be successful. As the same as Jesus gave his 12 disciples the power to make miracles, he can give you wisdom for your ability and intelligence. Sometimes God gives you duty that you think you cannot do that, but your faith and trust to God gives you the ability and strength. Whatever you have, the hands of Jesus whatever you have is in the hands of Jesus and he makes them useful in your life because he lives in you and you in him when you are unlucky in something God and Jesus opens another door in front of you you must be awakened and take the opportunity have faith which gives you ability and strength. Jesus used his disciples for God's grace and he uses us in now time for God's grace. Then be awakened. You, your work in now time can be limited but in the hands of Jesus they are unlimited because the next generation use them usefully. Then ask Jesus to make your job successful and useful. Are you waiting for something? They are both holy patience and unholy patience. When you wait for your guest, it is holy. When sinners wish something ill, it is unholy. You can meet unbelievers and lost people who have lived have led the people. It is your duty to bring belief in the unbelievers and lost people. Jesus tells us people who believe they can do things, even hard ones. Always ask Jesus to guide you for defeating the, that part of our unbelief. When we pray, we leave us to Jesus and God. When we pray for someone, we leave that person to the God and Jesus. 
they take care of the problem and that person becomes free but when we try to solve that person's problem it can be temporary sometimes people make hard things with others in the nature then people fear be in that nature they must be encouraged and be in the nature and find happiness by themselves it is the same in religion some people scare people uh, others uh, from the religion but people must make their research on the religion to find the truth Jesus defeats dem demons and Satan and hears us and makes us free. Sometimes you are busy in life, but always start whatever you do in the name of Jesus. Sometimes we try to do Jesus or God's job, but Jesus and God lose their patience us then do your duties I know that you believe on on with God you make impossible possible sometimes you find yourself in difficulties but if you ask Jesus he can complete your job Jesus I trust on you use me usefully and let me be a part of your work. Protect us to don't be frustrated. God and Jesus, you are the only who can hear everybody when they call you at the same moment. You answer everybody's request for your grace. Amen. Sometimes we will be winners but in incorrect way then there is risk to fail but with Jesus you cannot be in hard situation to fail you sometimes one of your friends become unfaithful to you and betrays you forgive but take distance to hinder more hurt continue with your kindness with the rest of your friends there are two groups in this world those who are in god's kingdom and those who are sinners our duties are to lead sinners to jesus when we have left our life to jesus then we are free and whatever we do are right things then Jesus brings more people to you, helping them. He tries. He tries to make you a leader. Sometimes you can ask Holy Spirit for help and that you can hear Him. <coughs> when you are succeeded in your day, you share your happiness with your friends family when you are succeeded in your day share your happiness with your family even you can share your unlucky day with your family to get solution which sometimes comes from Jesus even, even if Father God and Jesus thanks for those people I am in contact Bless us and let us be kind with each other and others. Amen. What does Jesus think on you? Think about it and write it down. It appears a lot of thinking. Read there often and evaluate if they are what really think on you or they are your thoughts our limited experiences make our relationship with Jesus limited 
then make your experiences wider. Jesus was humble and searched over needed people to help them. Then be humble and help needed people. Destroy all limitations you make on Jesus and let Jesus become more reality in your life. Life is full of wonderful moments, serious love, happiness, success, and have fun. Jesus has had funny moments with his disciples. Jesus' education and miracles were enjoyable for Jesus. In the same way, we must enjoy of our life in a health, healthy way, means have a blessed life. When you laugh, all stresses and ill spirit disappear and an enjoyment feeling appears, which is the place of angels. God has created some funny animals and beautiful nature which make us laugh or smile. If we search Jesus in any funny things, we can see him. Jesus is an example of God for us human. Whatever he does is for God's grace. He can do because he is God's son who knows God's request, which is bringing human to God's kingdom. Jesus made a lot of people happy and laugh with his miracles. We cannot make miracles. Only good actions making people happy and laugh. Friends make each other happy and laugh. Search Jesus in any funny things and you can see him. Ask Jesus to give you funny and laughing moments. If you find a funny thing in hard time, you are positive and God and Jesus bless, bless you and turn the hard times to soft times. Amen. God, give us concentration when we search, talk, and worship you. Amen. When you share your poverty with poor, then you have a very good place in God's kingdom because you become generous as long as God is generous to us all. Jesus pleased God by teaching healings and helping people. When you do everything in the name of Jesus, he blesses you. Jesus always answers prayers because he is kind. Jesus lives in you and you in him. Then you can see his generosity and kindness by using Heavenly Father God, thanks for Jesus and Bible knowing about you and your grace. In the name of Jesus, Amen.